coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next SML 2.0 tutorial. And this tutorial we're going to be learning about recording sounds with a mic or an external audio device or something like that. Now I know I should have taught this when I was teaching about sounds and music but I, I really forgot about it and I remembered about it right now so might as well do it. Now, this is going to be a short tutorial. I guess you guys are going to be relieved because a, a lot of the, tu the tutorials have been really long. Uh, so this is a good relief type tutorial. So we're going to include the audio class. And you're because we're using that, you're going to also have to link the audio uh, libraries as well. So um, what we're going to do now is make an if statement. And we're going to say SF sound buffer recorder is available so this is a static method that will allow us to check if we have a device to actually record sound with if we don't have a device to um, record sound with it, it's kind of pointless so uh, I'll just say you need to install a mic simple simple message so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make three things so we're gonna make a sound buffer recorder we'll call this recorder We'll make a, a sound buffer, and we'll make a, a sound. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say that if they press a key, if they press the R key, then we'll say recorder.start, else then we'll say recorder dot stop and then we're going to say buffer is equal to recorder dot get buffer and we are going to then say sound dot set buffer and we'll set the buffer in there and then we'll just say sound dot play so we're going to record something when we oh Sorry, it shouldn't be L we're gonna put else if event dot key code and if they press the S key. So if they press the S key then we'll stop recording. We'll add our recorder to our sound buffer and then just like everything else we set our buffer uh we set our buffer to our sound and we play the sound. So Nothing's really different from the sound tutorial. The only difference is that we're actually using a recorder to record the sound and then we convert this the recorded sound into a sound buffer and then we can do whatever we need to do with it after. So if we run this if we run this program, I'm gonna press R right now. Coolio. Coolio. See? So whereas I pressed S, it just um, reset what I exactly said what I said and if you want people to be able to record sounds and save it then it's as easy as pie when you convert it to a buffer remember that the sound buffer class has something that you can save to a file so I can save it as test.org and if I run it again sorry oh my bad Hello, oh, sorry. Hello world. Press S. Hello world. So it repeats what I said. And if I go to my project folder now and I find the file, I look for the file, I'll see test.org. And if I run it, world. it's it actually says what I actually stated. So you can make a program where people can record whatever they want to. If they want to record reminders or whatever, you could do that. And uh, basically that's it for this tutorial. So it's a, a really short tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, like on Facebook, uh, join my circle on Google+, join my website, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. So bye for now.